Hey guys, today we're on the workbench and we're going to talk about Barker's Trains HO Scale F Unit A and B Handrail Slash Grab Iron Detail Set BT100. These are precision bent right here in the USA from 0.0125 phosphor bronze wire, which is a, a much more prototypical diameter wire than what you can normally get from uh, other manufacturers, which are usually quite a bit thicker, like 0.016 or 0.019. Um, really too thick and bulky. And um, we're gonna discuss how these apply to uh, several different um, F unit shells. Um, we're gonna discuss the uh, Stuart Cotto F unit shell, the Intermountain, F unit shell and the cream of the crop the highliners or Genesis F unit shell and these will apply equally to all three of these and give you basically everything you need to approximate a uh, straight from EMD first gen uh, F unit uh, as far as uh, handrails and grab irons go. So let's get started. Okay, the tools that you guys are gonna need are a push pin to make a small indentation where you're gonna start your drilling, a drill, which this is a handheld drill um, that spins in your hand and it has a 0.015 diameter drill bit, a pair of pliers, small, um, nice, uh, thin tipped, or a pair of tweezers. That's to hold the grab irons and put them into position. And a wire or something of that nature. Um, this is a thicker wire, like point, uh, uh, 020 or 025. And I use that to dip into a small puddle of super glue so that I can then apply it to the inside of the shell where the grab iron is sticking through to secure it. You're also going to need some sort of super glue. I'm using Loctite super glue. Um, basically, anyone will do whatever you got on hand. Okay, so here we have a few of the grab iron, or the handrails, I should say, that come in this set, and grab irons. We've got the cab handrails, we've got the rear door handrails, we've got the rear hand rails for over the rear ladder, and then we've got a couple of grab irons that we're gonna use for the nose. Um, the grab irons for the nose and the grab irons for the rear of the F unit are um, the same. Okay, as for the inner mountain shells, you can see that these fit right into the holes that are provided. On the steward shell, you're gonna to need to locate these tiny little indentations where they want you to poke the holes. After poking a starter hole, you're gonna go ahead and use your handheld drill to drill this hole completely through to the inside. So I've just drilled all four of my holes for my cab door handrails. Now I do need to illustrate something on the rear of the uh, Stewart shells. And I'll do that by holding this inner mountain shell in front of it. So this is the inner mountain and this is the Stewart. And if you'll notice on the Stewart, the holes, the, the small indentations where they want you to drill the holes for the uh, handrails, 
are a little bit low on the rear door as compared to the inner mount, which are correct and prototypical. And the holes that they want you to drill are right in this rivet line above the rear step. And they actually need to be just below the rivet line in order to line up with our handrails, which are prototypical length and fit perfectly on the inner mountains and the Genesis. So you'll have to remember that. On the rear door, they need to be just above the dots that they provide. And on just above the rear ladder, they need to be just below the dots that they provide, which are in the rivet line. Now you're gonna wanna take your super glue and you're gonna wanna go ahead and put a drop, or a little more than a drop, nice little pool onto a piece of wood, a piece of styrene, anything you kinda of have sitting around. Set that down on your work surface. Once you've got your handrail positioned exactly how you want it to be, exactly how far out from the cab that you want it to stick out, which I think is about a little over a 16th of an inch probably, whatever looks good to you, what looks prototypical. You're gonna to wanna to then dab your thick wire into your super glue. You're gonna to turn to the inside of the shell and you're gonna see that you've got a nice little dab of glue on there and just go right in to where these are sticking through the shell and apply that glue. And also down deep in there where the other one is. So now you can see we've gone from the Stewart F7A unit body with no grabs, no handrails I should say, or grabs, to this where we've installed nose grabs, cab handrails, rear door handrails, and rear handrails. And you can see the vast difference and the quality that that gives your locomotive, the detail. Um, there's still a bit more to add. Um, there are grabs uh, on the back in this area, one here, one over here. Um, there are curved grabs that go right here along the pilot and um, of course the grabs on the other side and our kit the BT100 comes with enough phosphor bronze grabs to do an A unit and a B unit all the grabs and handrails on a first generation F7 AB unit. What I do like about these Stewart shells is uh, I'm kind of old school. Um, a lot of people nowadays want to just buy the locomotives, you know, totally done, the Genesis or the Intermountain or the uh, Bowser units um, or, or um, uh, P2K units. And um, they, they don't want to do any work, um, but that's, that's great. Um, but I like to actually do this modeling. Um, and so I like to take these old kind of discarded units that you can get for cheap. You can get Atherin units as well, but they don't have as, as good of a detail around the, the um, windshields. Um, they're kind of clunky and square, and so they don't look as good as any of the other three that I've mentioned. Um, but uh, just by picking up one of these BT100 Barker handrail sets, you are gonna be able to make an AB unit of these old Stuart um, Cotto units that, that by the way come with the Cotto power plant the power the Cotto chassis that is probably next to maybe the Genesis um, power plant that's got to be the smoothest most durable most easy to maintain power plant that you can have on one of these the, just one of the best chassis you can get um, and you know, you're gonna to need to come in with some touch up paint and paint the handrails the color that you want. I would just use a brush, match the paint almost as, as, you know, as good as you can. You can get it pretty perfect. Um, paint the grabs. Um, I've uh, sanded away a couple of mold marks on the pilot here. And I'm gonna airbrush that silver. Um, yeah, and this is gonna make a really nice 
set when it's finished. And of course, if we're talking about the Intermountain units, um, you can make them into pretty much whatever um, generation of diesel you want by cha changing out the fans on the top, the screens on the sides. Um, you can do a lot of different stuff with these guys. They're really versatile. You can, you can make whatever era that used F units you can basically make out of the Intermountain kit. And the same thing goes for the Highliners. The Highliners is the best example of the F7 body. Um, they come with the Genesis, the Genesis units, and those are all painted. I'm not even sure you can buy these unpainted shells anymore. But both the Genesis shells and the Intermountain shells do not come with handrails. They come with everything else, but they don't come with handrails or grabs or eye bolts. Um, you need eye bolts to put on the roofs of these. Um, so we sell the eye bolts as well. Um, and uh, yeah, you can pick that stuff up at the Barker Train store on eBay. And uh, if you buy a bunch of stuff, we'll give you a great combined shipping rate, the best you can get. Thanks for watching and uh, have fun modeling.